Doc Anderson here. I'm going to do a series of talks on the uh, supplements I take. As being a physician, uh, patients and family and neighbors often ask me what I take for my own health. So rather than repeat that to all of them, I'm actually going to do a series of videos on my YouTube channel discussing each one. Today I'm going to discuss one of my favorites, N-acetylcysteine, which is an essential amino acid. Uh, cysteine is the essential amino acid. Its supplement form is N-acetylcysteine, and it's converted to the antioxidant glutathione by the body, which is a very powerful antioxidant. And the reason I take N-acetylcysteine was years ago my brother died at age 35 from a hepatocellular carcinoma. He did not drink, he did not smoke, he had low body fat, he was in good, good shape, he didn't have hepatitis. So it deeply disturbed me that he got this disease and I've always wondered how he got it. And mainstream medicine offered me no alternatives or ways of preventing this from happening to me. So years later, when I learned about glutathione and acetylcysteine, I realized that glutathione is the primary antioxidant in the liver. And most likely, my brother had low glutathione in his liver for whatever reason, either environmental toxins um, or possibly even too much Tylenol. So... I decided to start supplementing with N-acetylcysteine to increase my glutathione and hopefully uh, reduce my risk of getting hepatocellular carcinoma. So over, over the, um, so this is approximately uh, 17 years ago when I started this. N-acetyl glutathione decreases as we age in your body and the amount in your liver also decreases as we age. So by taking N-acetylcysteine, you increase the amount of glutathione in the liver and the remainder of the body, and this helps with both liver and lung function and promoting the body's uh, inflammatory response. In addition, high glutathione levels are uh, very effective in treating viruses and bacteria so, so far this has worked for me as I'm now in my mid-60s, uh, and hopefully it'll work for you. I'm now going to go into uh, a series of discussions on uh, N-acetylcysteine and some of its uses. N-acetylcysteine was initially used as a treatment for Tylenol overdose in adults by increasing the body's level of glutathione. My executive producer also had an incident in which her dog ingested a Tylenol PM. She took to the dog to the vet, and the uh, vet prescribed N-acetylcysteine, which uh, basically saved the, her pet's life. N-acetylcysteine's uh, potent antioxidant and antiviral effects are also present within the uh, lungs, it has been shown to be beneficial in respiratory conditions such as ARDS, pneumonia, and COPD, and bronchitis. The uh, dose is the, do the dose is usually 600 twice a day for a total of 1,200 milligrams a day. This supplement has been one of the uh, basis of my uh, preventative health plan for both myself and my family. This is a pretty interesting article about NAC from the Journal of Infection and Public Health, dated 12-22. Here is an even more recent article in the National Library of Medicine from June 2023 from Bangladesh.
here's an interesting article on the potential of NAC to affect human prostate cancer cells. And basically, if you see the conclusion here, NAC could have a high potential in attenuating the migration of human prostate cancer cells from their primary site and their adhesion and invasion to remote locations. Hence, NAC may suppress the growth of both primary and secondary tumors. Certainly highly interesting and uh, worth noting. Here's another article uh, showing uh, effect of NAC on human prostate cancer cells. And in summary here, NAC enhances the apoptotic or cell death activity in human, cancer, human prostate cancer cells. And this denote, denotes the anti-tumor properties of NAC. So certainly these recent articles on the uh, potential benefits of NAC and cancer uh, treatment and prevention are very interesting and obviously uh, more data is needed. To summarize, there are three reasons why I take NAC. Number one, I do not want to end up like my brother who died of liver cancer at age 35. He was not overweight. He did not drink or smoke. He did not have hepatitis. The only plausible explanation that I could come up with was some environmental exposure or he had decreased uh, glutathione for some reason. It is for this reason that I take NAC and attempt to build my glutathione. That's the only avenue I found to help prevent this uh, from happening to me. And as I'm now in my uh, 60s, I feel like it has benefited me uh, somewhat. Number two, I don't like getting the cold, flus, or viruses. In the 16 years that I've been taking NAC, I cannot recall an incident where I've caught a cold or been sick. Maybe this is a coincidence, maybe not. But certainly, increasing your glutathione may help f fight the onset of the cold or flu. Number three, increasing glutathione may delay aging. This is obviously controversial, but we all lose glutathione as we age. So by taking NAC, we may stabilize or even increase our glutathione levels and therefore may slow down the aging process. I feel this supplement has cer certainly benefited my health. Maybe it will benefit yours. This is Doc Anderson wishing you good health and enjoy the outdoors. If you like this talk and want to see more, please hit like and subscribe.